going to a spot right there in front of the door. Let's see. Are you gonna go follow him? Hmm. And of course she's over there by the door too. Now this guy is gonna come and start trouble. See, she's right there. This guy is gonna start trouble. Charlie's gonna start chasing after him. See how he puts his neck down like that? He's getting ready to protect his girl. That is Charlie's girl. Look, he's back over there. goodness oh my goodness my beautiful friends it is so perfect outside today so perfect I absolutely love this time of the year I can't stress that enough you guys like it excites me so much when it is sunny outside not a cloud in the sky I mean look at this it cannot get more perfect than this blue sky it is gorgeous and i think it's about 71 degrees maybe maybe a little bit warmer 72 73 it's perfect weather the animals are all excited i'm excited the ducks are being ducks and having a great time just doing their spring fling thing uh charlie and his girl are like the cutest couple Seriously, you guys, they are so cute. He follows her. She follows him. If another boy duck comes up or a drake comes up to her, he pushes him off. It is so funny. It is so funny. It's a true love story. Seriously. The leaves are starting to get green again, so that's really nice. Um, we have some of our our rose bush, which you saw, is starting to get its little rose buds on it. And I need to mow the lawn, which is on my agenda for tomorrow. It could be for this evening, but we'll see how tonight goes. I have um, some things that I have to do tonight. But this, this is such a pretty little bush. My neighbor gave these to me. They're called Christmas something. I don't really know the full name of them. But they just have really light green flowers on them. And we have another one at the end over here. This one's a little bit more full. A little prettier. But they're so neat. I love them. And it's going to get really big and bushy. We have, I believe these are called hostas. My hydrangea is kind of taking a long time to grow back so I'm not really sure if I should be trimming back these dead limbs even more to help it out but I didn't trim it back last year and it grew back really big so not quite sure what's going on with this maybe it just needs some more time since yesterday it was cold outside the weather around here has been 
so weird. <laughs> um, today is April 11th and yesterday I actually um, just finished a video for you guys explaining to you the wildness. I know typically I don't look down when I walk but I'm actually getting ready to leave to pick up Zion. Here, let me get in the uh, out of the grass. The <laughs> I'm wearing my good shoes and I don't want to walk in an accidental pile of you know what. Because <laughs> my dog goes wherever she wants and uh, I don't want to have an accident on my shoe and then have to change my shoes because my shoes are too cute and I don't want to have to change them. <laughs> So I'm just at the tail end of editing a video for you guys that explains our hospital stay and everything that happened. So make sure that you go watch that. It's a very, very important video. It's a long video and I definitely apologize for how long it is. Um, but skip through it if you want to. You don't have to watch his portion of his time in the actual hospital but listen to the stuff that I have to say especially when it comes to blood transfusions make sure you go watch that part of it because it's very very important everybody needs to know about it yeah it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous <laughs> I really start singing this time of the year guys it's it's just it makes my it makes my heart happy I get excited all of the goats are out in pasture which is super exciting I love watching all 11 of them just run around in the pasture. It is so, so incredibly cute, and I will share some of that with you today. Uh, but today is Zion's follow-up appointment to his orthopedic surgeon's office. We'll be seeing the nurse practitioner, and I think he's going to be getting a hard cast put on today. So we'll see how things go. Um, yesterday at his primary doctor things went well his blood pressure was still a little high it was 139 over something I have it written down on my phone so they are a little concerned about that but I think I might know why it's high um, obviously it was high in the hospital because of the situation and things that were going on stuff like that I do believe some of it was correlated with either the fentanyl or the ketamine or whatever it was um, he has not had those before and I think that something did spike his blood pressure Not last night, but the night before last which would have been Sunday Zion wanted something to help him sleep, but he didn't need pain medication. He's not been in pain He has just been having a hard time sleeping because in the middle of the night He wants to roll over on his belly or roll on his back, but his arm is too heavy So he wanted something to just help him kind of sleep a little bit well, I don't really have any sleeping aids for kids, um, not even for adults. Like, we don't have a hard time sleeping, so I don't really have those types of medications in my house or um, even herbs or anything like that. We just don't need them. So I did give him a dose of NyQuil, only because I know NyQuil, for one, it does have a little bit of a pain reliever in it. He does sometimes have a stuffy nose. Uh, which has been regular and he is just getting over an ear infection So I figured a little an antihistamine and something to help him sleep and something to help with pain isn't really gonna hurt him well I think I'm wrong about that because after doing some research on it was NyQuil that I gave him some children's NyQuil It can actually raise their blood pressure if given too much and we do give our kids NyQuil whenever they starting runny noses, snotty, um, coughing, whatever it is, I really think that that might be raising his blood pressure. So when we went to his primary care doctor yesterday, his blood pressure was a little high and I think it was because the night before I gave him the NyQuil. So I'm really gonna keep a close watch on that. I didn't give him any pain medication or anything to sleep with last night. He actually didn't even ask for it, so I don't think he needed it. We do have the doctor visit today, so I'll have them uh, check his blood pressure and one thing that I can say is when he was in the hospital They never manually use like the old-school blood pressure You know like the cuff and listening with a stethoscope They just use the machine and when we went to the, the pediatric doctor yesterday 
she actually checked it the correct way. So I was very pleased to see that. Um, and she was actually kind of shocked when I told her that nobody checked it that way at the hospital. And hopefully all goes well. But the fish are doing great. The animals are doing amazing. I don't want to talk about this horrible experience that we had anymore. And let's go see the animals and see how they're doing. Ruby's always with her three. And then Bella's always with her little girl. And that looks like it's Hazel. Where's Piper? There's little Clover. Oh. There's Piper. So that's Hazel in the front. Oh, Mr. is behind. I see, he's behind the stump. So it's so cute how they all pretty much stay fairly close to their mamas. Wherever mama goes, they go. But they have been pretty adventurous. They will, you know, step away from mama a little bit. They just don't leave mama's side too far. And if they all start walking, the rest of them will all start, you know, following and staying with the herd. I can't wait until Hope and Hazel have some little babies. Look, they're still over there at the stump. They're like, you go on, Mom. We'll get you later. Oh, there they go. There they go. <laughs> I love watching them jump the creek. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi, Hopi. Hi, Hazel. It is definitely fly season. It hasn't kicked in too bad yet, but you can see that she's got some little bit of flies there. They're kind of bugging her. So I'm gonna have to put some Ultra Boss on her. That stuff seems to help pretty good for flies. And Miss Daisy should be having a baby in the next few weeks. So make sure you guys follow along for that. Hi, Ruru. Hi, Ruby girl. Who are those babies? Hi, babies. Hi. You guys are so cute. If you guys don't know yet, this one with the lighter spots is the boy, and that one's the girl. And little, we call him Jet or Black Jack, one or the other. We either call him Jack or Jet. But either way, the all-black one, he's the only one that's looking for a... Well, out of Ruby's kids, he's the only one that's looking for a home. And then, um, Mr. That big boy right there. But if nobody buys him, I am not going to have a problem keeping him. Because he is a really nice-looking buck. I think we're going to be selling Bella. And we'll be upgrading to just... Um, I'm, I'm looking for excellent quality, you guys. I if we're going to be spending the money on grain and hay and stuff like that, which hopefully we won't have to do so much at our new home, but if we're going to have to spend the money on stuff like that, then I want to make sure that I'm feeding girls that are just going to be producing a ton of milk because otherwise you're spending all that money and not getting a lot back um, in, in quantity. Uh, so quality and quantity is a huge big deal when it comes to these Nigerian dwarf goats They're small goats, but their milk does taste amazing um, Speaking of that though, I do have to get ready soon. I'm going inside because I really have to get out of the house, but um, Speaking of that we were fermenting their food basically that just means we were taking their grain and soaking it overnight let me tell you, do not 
ferment your goat's food if you're going to be melting, milking them because the milk will start to taste sour. So it's been almost a week now that we have not been fermenting it. There's just a little itty bitty bit of sourness still in the milk. So my husband's been drinking it in his like protein shakes and stuff, but I have not. So it's not been going in my coffee. We're still buying store milk. It is driving me bonkers, you guys. I am tired of it. We spend way too much money on these animals to, um, to have to buy milk at the store. Well, you guys, that is it for today. I just wanted to give you a quick little brief video for once and not go overboard, show you the animals, let you know what's going on. I'll keep you updated with Zion's arm. And you guys just have a wonderful, blessed day. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.